Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan Wells with Flow Real Estate Photography. And uh, I'm actually on my way to Carlton Landing. Uh, it is, um, it's a community right outside of Eufaula, Oklahoma. And uh, it's a really cool community, homes that uh, people have. A lot of them are their secondary homes. Some of them are their primary residence. But um, I'm making this video for a couple of different reasons. Uh, number one, um, I'm, we're gonna start making some content like this uh, to really just put on our resource page on our website. Uh, this one will be probably just translated over to audio. But um, anyway, we're gonna dive right into talking about a topic that, uh, that, that I'm pretty pumped about. We'll be writing a class about this topic pretty soon, but it's how to get the most out of your photography. And really there's three areas that I'm gonna talk about today. And uh, this is gonna be more informational versus looking really good. Just so that you know, it's gonna be just kind of me talking right now, but we're gonna be translating this to audio and getting it transcribed to add to the website. But let's talk about it. How in the world would I get the most out of my real estate photography? Well, let's start with where the three places that you're going to put these pictures. Um, the, the first one we'll start off with is the listing sites, right? Your listing services could be the MLS. That's where a lot of people start. And uh, let's talk about that. Let's, let's kind of park there. If we're talking about the MLS, the biggest thing that you need to remember is that number one photo, your, your main profile photo, the, uh, the, the main listing photo needs to be one that's going to capture people's attention. It needs to stand out. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on the MLS or Zillow or somewhere like that. And you're going to want to do a search for houses that match your house right? The listing that you're about to put up, you want to find those comps and you want to take a look at the pictures that other people are using. If all of those are just that front exterior photo, then yours might, you might want to do an interior photo, right? You might want to do that. You might want to uh, do a, a, a different angle, like a, do a drone photo. Do something different in that price range. Remember that people start with search results, okay? And so that's tip number one. Tip number two is this. If you've uploaded the photos to MLS, you've been limited to about 35 or 36 photos, depending on which MLS you're using, right? If you're in a different market or something. Okay, so let's call it 36. On Zillow and other listing sites, you might be able to go in and add the rest of the pictures that your real estate photographer took, okay? And so my suggestion, because we know that, that uh, the MLS compresses the photos, right? We know this, so they don't look as good on the MLS as they would on like a website. And so my suggestion is that even if you've uploaded the photos, all of the photos to the MLS, I suggest that you completely re-upload those to Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, whatever other websites that, that it was syndicated to because you don't want to use those pixelated photos, right? The ones that have been, you know, we, when we take them, they're big, right? They look pretty on websites. You put them on MLS, they get shrunk down. They get, it's what's called compressed. They get shrunk down, okay? And so those are a couple of tips, again, on getting the most out of the MLS side. Uh, and the listing side, if you will, the listing sites, right? So let's move on. What's another place that you can use your photos or uh, what's the best way to get all of the use to squeeze every drop of value out of your pictures? Well, the next place I suggest is, it's called Google My Business. It's called Google My Business. If you've ever searched for something on Google, and you see the search results that kind of come up in the map section that have the reviews next to them. That is somewhere that you could maximize SEO, which means search engine optimization. It's totally free to do, okay? So what you need to do is you need to go on Google and just type in Google My Business. You're gonna look at the search results because you're wanting to sign up. If you've never done this before, you'll need to set up an account the first time and register your business as a location on the map. And I get the question sometimes, well, what if I office out of my house? That's totally fine. Put your address there so that they can send you a verification code. And then later on, you can make it to where your address isn't public or you can add your office address. Like for instance, right now, I think it still has our home address, but um, 
we're, we're updating it to our new office at 164th and Penn. Okay, so that's just an example. Now, once you've got your Google My Business set up, then my suggestion is every single listing that you're working with, or even past listings, you want to post three or four photos at least. Okay, the goal is to post one photo at least a day onto your Google My Business account. Okay, that's the goal is you want to at least post one photo per day on your Google My Business account. Why? Because you Google will favor or will show your post, your, your listing to more, the, here's, they'll, they'll show it to more people if you do a couple things. You have to have the most relevant and newest content. That means that you're needing to post on your Google My Business at least once a day, guys. And so if you have listing photos of a house, you're going to have at least 36 pictures. That's easy to post at least. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. So that's easy to post. Hold up. This is a lot of it. Sorry, I've got podcasts running in the background while I'm trying to record. So uh, again, another place to put it is the Google My Business. You want to put it on there so that more people see your stuff whenever they Google Realtor in Oklahoma City, Realtor in Edmond, or Homes for Sale in blah, blah, blah. Just make sure that whenever you're posting those photos on your Google My Business page that you're putting the keywords in the title of the pictures that you want your stuff to show up at, right? So if you want, if you think people are going to be searching for, uh, you know, real estate agent, Oklahoma city, then you want to name your photos, real estate agent, Oklahoma city, you know, dash cool house in Edmond or whatever, what, whatever it is that you're wanting to show up, name your photos that, because here's the thing. If you don't have visibility on, on like Google, people will overlook all your stuff, right? And so this is just another avenue. All right, so let's talk about the third thing, and that is uh, social media. So we've talked about listing sites, we've talked about Google My Business, the third place that you can really dominate uh, as far as uh, putting your photos is on social media. So if you're a realtor, and let's say you've taken, you know, you've got pictures done either by a professional or you took them yourself, whatever, I suggest using a pro, tons of options in Oklahoma City, okay? Tons of great options in Oklahoma City. But once you've got your photos back, remember you're working with around like 36 or more pictures. You've got tons of social media content that you can do, but the balance is gonna come and you don't wanna be super salesy. So here's what, I, here's what we suggest. We suggest that you do not necessarily post every single day that about a house for sale or an open house or something like that. Instead, we suggest that you mix it up, right? Just in many ways, be, be freaking authentic, you know? That's, kind of, that's sort of the way to look at it is you, you want to be authentic about it. And here's how you can be authentic where it, it's not really put on. Document, document, document. Treat social media like you were making a family photo album at grandma's house, okay? Put a, a sort of a documentation of, of where you're at while you're there, okay? Sometimes that's going to include posting the professional photos you had taken of your house or of your listing, okay? Sometimes it's gonna mean that. Sometimes it's going to mean that you're taking a picture of maybe the, uh, the, the garbage that you had to pick up that blew over from the neighbor's yard, one of your listings, you know? But the idea behind it is that if you want to not come across as salesy, then just don't be that way, right? And how do we do that? Well, we do that with tools, right? Because social media, it feels like, it feels like a good platform for us to, to, to make sales on, and it is. But because it feels that way, that's how we're gonna treat it, and it will come across in the fabric of our voice, it'll come across in the type of content that we put out, and uh, you know, for anybody that's listening right now, it, it'll, it'll, it, it, you can probably hear that right now, I'm not selling a thing, right? Well, what's the purpose? If you've, you've just joined us here, uh, you know, we're a few minutes into really a podcast, I guess. Uh, we are, we're recording audio for, uh, for a resources page that we'll be adding to our website. It's our goal at Flow Real Estate Photography in Oklahoma City to, uh, to, to be your number one choice uh, for for any resource that you have, uh, you know, let's say you're a realtor and you need help with with marketing. We want to be a place that provides questions and answers, right? Not just we're not know it alls, so we're not just providing answers, but we're also hopefully providing a place for a community to ask questions 
and for us to to be the ones that you know if it, you know if somebody needs to be be the one to raise their hand and say um, we are going to lead this charge, then that's fine. Then we're going to be the ones to absolutely lead that charge. And so I know that, um, you know, recording while driving is probably not the best thing to do, but I'm just focused on the audio right now. So if you've joined us or if you're watching this live, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, we didn't acknowledge you. So for those of you that are watching right now, um, you might, uh, you, you know, you might be listening right now and that's fine. You can check out our new website, flowphotosokc.com. That is uh, officially launching July the 1st. So any promotions that you see there will not be launching until July the 1st, but we're super excited to be launching some new promotions uh, that uh, you'll want to be ready for. And uh, the way that you'll know is by checking out the new website, flowphotosokc.com. And uh, we appreciate you. Please come and experience Oklahoma's highest rated, most reviewed real estate photography company. Take care. We appreciate you all.